Are you interested in using video pins as part of your Pinterest marketing strategy, but you're stuck on how to create beautiful professional looking pins that convert? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create video pins without fancy software using Keynote, which you probably already have on your computer. Hi, I'm Vanessa Kynes, I'm a Pinterest marketing strategist for creative small businesses, and I help creative businesses craft traffic generating Pinterest marketing strategies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create beautiful pins with Keynote using stock video from Sourced Co. Sourced Co. is a company and brand that works with wedding and creative professionals and provides them with stock photography, but as well as stock videography. And I believe this is the next wave of being able to create beautiful dynamic images by having access to great video. Now I know in my own business, it's difficult to have video that fits your brand or even personal stock video. So I would love for you to check out Source Co and their website, but also I want to show you how you can make these beautiful pins in just a few minutes using Keynote. So let's go over to the screenshot tutorial. Before we get started with this tutorial, I do want to go ahead and show you some of the video pins that I have been creating. Um, I actually have a separate post on how I used both Canva and Instagram stories to create videos. And I think this one should play for you. But ba basically all I did in Instagram stories is I also uploaded a GIF um, onto the image on Instagram, saved the video file and uploaded to Pinterest. So there's a lot that you can do, but I think Keynote is a really fabulous way to make um, really dynamic video pins. So let's come on over to Keynote. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click on new. And when you click on new, you'll have the option to choose presentation. Go ahead and choose the white presentation. And I've already done that here. And you do need to make a custom size slide. So come on over to document on the right. And then we wanna make, um, we wanna make either a two by three or a square. Um, video pin. Now, Pinterest says, as you can see um, on their website, that it does need to be at least four, four seconds. So I recommend making this at least five seconds for Tailwind because you can schedule videos on Tailwind and for some reason they do not like four second videos. So save yourself the time. But we do want to make sure that we have a file that is a two by three or a square. I'm going to go ahead and create a two by three, 1000 by 1500 pixels is an example of that. So we can go ahead and use that here. Um, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna drag in your video files. I'm gonna be using mine from Source Co. Um, you can use whatever video files you like. You can check out their video files, but I think this is a great way to show you how to create really easy video pins. So I'm gonna come over here to one I've already created and I think it looks really beautiful. All I did was drag the video into the keynote slide. Let me go ahead and widen the screen for you. And as you can see, there's just so much movement. It looks really professional. Um, and so I just dragged the video on top of this. And there's a lot of things that you can do. And I do want to go ahead and show you. Um, the first thing that you want to do is to make sure you go to document the top right and click on automatically play upon open. If you don't do this, then it won't automatically play. Um, and you can even upload this video pin to Instagram or even Facebook. So keep that in mind as you do want it to automatically play. So go ahead and click that. Um, and then we can also do a couple things with the video right now. So I've got multiple layers going on. You can come to format and you can change the opacity of it. Okay. Um, and you can also change the cropping of it. So if you really want to zoom in on this really, really beautiful um, camera or um, I'm sorry, matchstick lighting right here with the um, really dramatic smoke, you can do that. If you want the full, um, if you want the movement of a person, or maybe you want the movement of the tablescape, there's a really beautiful flame right here that flickers towards the end. This is the cool thing. You can create multiple video pins by using really the same template and you can create um, really in this video, you could probably create up to three or four and they would look really unique and different. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down to the size of the pin. Um, just about, let's see. And um, I really want that um, really dramatic flame going on right here. And then her, I want my eye to be able to see that at the end. And the other things that I did is I dragged in a PNG file, which is my logo, my sub logo to the bottom center. Remember we um, brand bottom center for Pinterest because Pinterest uses the left and right. And then all I want to do is add text and that's super easy to do. I just clicked on the text button up here. You can choose branded text, which what's 
which is what makes this a great choice because you can use the brand um, fonts that you have. Um, I use Laura, and then you can also do things like change the size, right? Make it bigger. And so again, you wanna use a text overlay just like we use in our still pins um, to make it enticing for people to click over. The other element that I added here was a shape. You can come up here and add shape at the top. And um, obviously when you choose it, you can change the color fill. So if you want it to be white, like I did, I clicked on white. And then um, if I were to blow this up, just to show you, I can change the opacity. Now you'll notice that this white shape is now in front of the text um, and you can send that backwards by, um, by going up here to arrange. But I don't need this, but this is how I created this shape behind here. And if you wanna see what it looks like with very little opacity, that was the text. Let me go ahead um, and show you. So you can come all the way here, here, you can change the color of it. I think it looks really cool, just professional, just a little bit behind it. So this is how you create a video pin. And remember this video is from Styled Source Co and it is so beautiful. Um, and um, we can go ahead and once you create your pin, you just wanna export it to um, QuickTime. And when you choose that, you can choose self-playing at least five seconds, right? Format 720 is fine, click on next, and it's going to save it as a QuickTime file. Now you do need to convert that QuickTime file over to an MP4 to work on both Tailwind and Pinterest. And the easy way to do that is go to a website, easygif.com, easygif.com. You can find that in the um, notes below. And that will allow you to convert this QuickTime video file into a MP4 file. There are other websites that do that. You can play around with it. Okay, now remember, we could go ahead and create another pin so we can repeat this whole process by exporting to QuickTime with this and we could have this beautiful dramatic text overlay and then we have two video pins for this as well. So let me show you another um, video file that they have that is really beautiful as well and I can show you how to make this work. Okay, one of the really cool ones that I thought was really interesting was this, um, let's drag in this branding. Maybe you are a brand strategist or a stationer and you need video and this would obviously need to fit your style. Um, but I think that this is a really cool, cool video as well from Source Co. And so again, um, I'm gonna arrange this to the back. Um, let me just click on it one more time, send it to the back, to the back. Um, there is some weird text going on here. I'm going to delete that. We don't need that. And um, again, we could use this video. Now, I think I find this to be a little bit busy with the text on text. So I could bring this over um, here and kind of use some of this um, quote unquote white space. And there's another way you can create a video pin. And just with one more example, one that doesn't have as much text on it, um, there is this really beautiful floral design video. Again, we can drag that just to Keynote and um, we can stretch that to be, now you don't have to make it the whole length of the pin. Maybe you have a pin template where you only have it at the top and that's totally fine and maybe a good idea. Um, what I'm looking for here again is I'm going to send this pin all the way to the back or the video all the way to the back and let's play it and get a feel. Now one of the issues I see with this right now is it's really, um, let's see if I can get this hand going here. It's really dark. It's hard to read the text. There are a couple things we can do. We can change the opacity of the video. Okay. And that really helped a ton as you can see. Um, another thing we could do is if we didn't want to change the opacity of the video, I kind of wonder what, what this would look like if the text was white. So let's take a look at that and see if we can create a white text. Still a touch busy for me, um, but you can play around with um, play around the, with the video. I think I preferred for the opacity of the video to be a little bit um, muted and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back to black. Just think that looks really high end um, and we can play around with the move movement. I think we could get away with even going to around 53% of 
capacity. So again, this one um, is not quite as unique um, through the center. Most of the action is in the middle, but there's also this hand over here doing things. And so we could create two different video pins from that as well. These long videos give you more access, I believe, to creating multiple video pins. So again, we would want to file, go to export, and then export to QuickTime. And we, again, we need to convert that video file over um, using EasyGIF or another website. And then you're going to take that video and you're going to upload it to Tailwind. Um, again, it needs to be at least five seconds for Tailwind, four seconds for Pinterest. Why they're different, I don't know. And then also you can upload it to the Pinterest platform directly, but then you cannot schedule it directly from Tailwind. So I hope this was super helpful and just gets you started on how to use video pins with something as easy as Keynote. Well, I hope that was super helpful. I had so much fun creating. One of my favorite things is I was able to take one video and make multiple video pins that had a completely different look and I love using my time efficiently that way. So I hope this was helpful and if you found this helpful or you're looking for more Pinterest marketing tips, be sure to subscribe to this channel but also in the link below, subscribe to my email list by grabbing my free Pinterest startup guide where I'm going to be sharing nine tasks to getting you started on Pinterest. If you're ready to take action into your Pinterest marketing strategy, I also have a course called Pin Progress and it is available now for you to purchase so that you can really start taking action on using Pinterest to drive traffic to your Creative Small Businesses website. Thank you.